Coach? You know, I thought both teams shot the ball extremely well. They made a couple at the end, and, you know, we missed a couple at the end. But it was, you know, we couldn't stop their their offense, and they really couldn't stop ours. And it ended up when they got a couple open threes at the end, and we got a couple, we missed ours, and they made them, and they, they, they deserved to win. Let's take questions for Tyus Battle and Elijah Hughes, please. Zach Lang, Cypress TV. This question's for Tyus. Now that this season's officially in the books, what can you tell us about your future in Syracuse? Um, I mean, I, I'm not making any decisions. I'm not, I'm not worrying about that right now. I mean, it, this was a tough loss for us. Uh, but I thought I thought we did a pretty good job offensively. Uh, we, have, we have to do a better job defensively. I mean, they got they had way too many threes. Um, it, it was just a tough loss. Elijah, you had a great first half and then went a long time without scoring in the second half. Were you not feeling well? I know you went to the bench at one point because you got a bloody nose, I think. Um, did they change their defense on you? What was going on? Um, nothing necessarily. Uh, Tyus got going a little bit, so he, you know, he took over, did his thing for a little bit, and um, started getting the rhythm a little bit as the half got to an end. Zach Braziller, Near Post. How much, um, Tyus, or how much did you guys miss Frank's defense out there? You know, Mason obviously had a pretty big game for them. Do you think that was a factor? Uh, no, I'm not going to leave it on one person. I mean, we, we, we have to do a better job as a team uh, finding the shooters and keeping guys in front of us. Um, I mean, but I'm, I'm not going to just keep it on one person like that. Anything more for student athletes? Right back here. Uh, for Elijah, I know it's not the end you want, but your first season in Syracuse, what are you going to remember from your first year? Um, how resilient this team is. Um, we never really put our heads down really all, all year. Uh, there was a lot of times people counted us out certain games, and we just, you know, we, knew we, we had a chance to win, and we just went out and competed. So happy to how resilient this team is. All right, we'll dismiss the student athletes, and then when they've left the stage, we'll direct questions to Coach Beheim. Thank you, guys. Questions for Coach, please. Jim, do you agree with Tyus's assessment that, you know, you guys didn't miss Frank as maybe as much as the rest of us thought. Well, obviously we missed him. He's our point guard. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. He isn't here. Would we have liked to have him? Yeah. <laughs> More questions for Coach. Zach was on your post. Jim, what, what did you see from your defense? You, your 2 3 usually creates problems for teams this time of year, especially teams that don't see it. Um, you know, they're a smart team. They're good against zone. They play zone. Uh, they got the ball in the middle and used the guy as a passer, which is what we see. Um, and we just didn't cover as well as we needed to. Uh, it, it really is a. Both guards have to key it which way they go. And uh, that's where our inexperience probably hurt the most because we didn't really make the right rotations. And, uh, you know, that's a little bit of the inexperience of, of uh, you know, having a freshman out there. Chris Carlson from the Syracuse Post Standard. Jim, how do you have to change what you do without Frank on the floor? Well, Tyus had played some points, so offensively, um, you know, I thought we handled everything pretty well. We, we attacked their zone well when they changed to the zone. Uh, we attacked their man-to-man -man pretty well. It puts a huge strain on Tyus. He gets no chance to, to, to rest a little bit. I think he got tired a little bit at the end because he's got to do so much with the ball. Um, but I thought offensively we were fine. 
you know, we played as well offensively as we played for the most part. Um, defensively, uh, you know, that's where it hurt us. It hurt us on the defensive end. We rebounded pretty well. You know, we handled the ball pretty well. Um, we moved the ball well. Um, you know, we shot the ball extremely well. Um, it's, you know, we wanted to get to the foul line and we did that, but we needed to make a couple threes in there when the run went on. But uh, the advantage of trying to get to the basket is to get to the free throw line, which we did, but we just didn't get there enough, really. Jim, considering what you've brought back and you know the pieces you added, how how would you describe this season? Are you disappointed with the year you guys had, or? Well, I think you're always disappointed when you lose in the tournament. If you think you have a chance to win, we had a, we obviously had a chance to win the game tonight. Um, you know, it's been a up and down year. We started out, you know, really uh, poorly, and uh, even though we lost to some pretty good teams early. Oregon's a good team, especially with Bow Bow, and obviously Buffalo is and Old Dominion. They're <coughs> tough teams. Um, we played pretty consistently in the league. We beat the teams we we're supposed to. Uh, we upset, you know, Duke, obviously, upset with Ohio State and Ohio State. Those were good wins. We, it was a solid year. Um, it was just wasn't the year I think we would have would have liked to have, but. Um, I, I thought these kids, I thought everybody uh, played well. I think with Buddy coming in, Elijah coming in their first years, uh, Marek and O'Shea are sophomores. Um, you know, I, I think we didn't have the consistency from the beginning, missing Frank for a long time, and then, at the, of course, obviously at the end. But uh, so it wasn't the year I think it, it could have been, but all in all, Considering everything, um, I would say it's been a, a solid year. Coach, you've enjoyed great success, particularly in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Obviously, you're dealing with a disappointed locker room. How would you summarize the message that you just gave to your team a few minutes ago? Well, it's what I've said right here. I thought, you know, we got off to a really bad start in this game and uh, dug ourselves back into it. Uh, really played well, 30 some, 30 some minutes. We had the lead and uh, we had two defensive breakdowns. We gave them two wide open threes and that we just couldn't get back from that. We had come back the whole game from the beginning, you know, in the half and even the second half came back. Uh, but, you know, we, we just couldn't get enough done on the defensive end tonight. Um, and again, when a team shoots like that, I mean, obviously they're going to make, they're a pretty good shooting team, but guys that don't usually shoot a lot go three for three. And, you know, they banked the three in the first half. They banked a, a foul line shot that hit the top of the backboard and went in. I mean, those things sometimes happen. And, uh, you know, they're, those are sometimes those things are hard to overcome, but we played really well offensively for a long time tonight. And then when we, you know, we missed two key free throws when it was, you know, obviously still close. And then we missed a layup when we st were still right there. But uh, they made a couple big threes at the end. That was the difference in the game. But um, considering the circumstances, we played really well and. Uh, Nobody's happy when you lose. Um, but Baylor is a really difficult team for us to play against. They pass it well and they shoot it well. And, uh, you know, Mason is a really accomplished veteran point guard. He knows where the ball should be and he can shoot it too. So it's difficult for us. Probably of any team other than, you know, the, the the one seeds in the tournament or two, I'd say, I think Baylor was a har is a harder team for us to play than anybody else that was three, four, five, six, seven. I'd rather almost played anybody. But uh, they they just really, I mean, I, they might not make 16 if we played tomorrow, but they'd make 12. 
kind of thing. They're good. They're a really good shooting team, and you know we knew that coming in. We tried to adjust our defenses defense outward, uh, but that's where the inexperience at the guard spot hurt us the most in on the defensive end. Okay. Last question. I was wondering what your thoughts are on a Buddy's performance tonight in his third consecutive start. He struggled offensively, but I'd expect that from a freshman. I, I'm not sure. Where are you from? Uh, Citrus TV. Where? Citrus TV. Syracuse. Oh, you're from. I figured. I should have known that. For your first question, I should have known that. Thank you, guys. All right.